Another Tesla Cybertruck spotted and it looks different smaller. Yet another Tesla Cybertruck has been seen out in public, and this particular example is generating lots of conversation. This is because each time another Cybertruck is spotted in the wild, Tesla fans, owners, and investors begin sleuthing to find what's new, what's the same, and what has clearly changed. It's beginning to seem like there's a new Tesla Cybertruck spotted in the wild nearly every day and none of them look quite like the behemoth at the top of the page. To be clear, many of these are not new, but rather, working prototypes that Tesla may be tweaking. CEO Elon Musk recently made it clear that Tesla still has some tweaking to do, so we won't see the final design quite yet. Hopefully, Tesla will reveal the official and final Cybertruck design at its upcoming Investor Day, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Now that Musk seems to be leaning more on next year for the truck to really head into large-scale production, there's honestly no hurry. At any rate, the new Cybertruck sighting, was posted by Greg Gregatruck on Twitter. He points out that there's so much to take in, and at first glance, we agree. As you can see, the Cybertruck appears more compact and lower to the ground than others we've seen, though it's more than likely the tight image and the angle misleading the eyes. While it's supposed to be a new Cybertruck prototype, it has the huge wiper blade that Musk said was going away, and other recent examples don't have it. To top it off, it has a revamped front end and lighting. It's important to note that we've read all sorts of comments about new versus old prototypes, original and alpha versus beta prototypes, and production intent versus production ready, etc. Half the time, it seems people aren't really sure what they're seeing or what they're talking about, rather, they're just trying to make some sense of it all. Until Tesla actually verifies anything, it's all mere speculation. Check out more recent Tesla Cybertruck coverage. Latest Tesla Cybertruck prototype spotted ahead of production start Tesla Cybertruck's bed capacity shown in recent spy shots. With all of that said, the Cybertruck in the most recent image above may be a new beta prototype. It has the new triangular side mirrors, which Musk has noted can be removed by the owner. It also has a different light bar setup, which appears to be more similar to that of the original unveiling. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside Eves. My take. This one is probably going to be the first production version. Looking good Elon. New Tesla Model 3 for as little as $27,000. Not long ago, you couldn't get a new Tesla EV for less than about $50,000, all said and done. Now, you can get a brand new Tesla Model 3 for $43,490, or lease one for $349 per month. Factor in the $7,500 US federal EV tax credit and you're looking at just $36,000. What if you could take off another $7,500, or more? If you're considering an EV like the Tesla Model 3, now is arguably a better time than any to take the plunge. Tesla lowered its prices, and rivals are following suit. However, the bigger news is that while the $7,500 US federal EV tax credit currently applies to most new EVs, that won't likely be the case for much longer. Fortunately, some U.S. states offer their own incentives on top of the federal EV tax credit. As pointed out by Tesla Rati, Oregon has one of the better offers. In fact, you can get an incentive of up to $7,500 through the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality's Oregon Clean Vehicle and Charge Ahead rebate programs. Oregon's program offers a $2,500 rebate to people who buy or lease a new EV. With the federal tax credit and Oregon's smallest rebate, you're already looking at $10,000 toward your new electric car. Low and moderate income residents of Oregon may be able to get an additional rebate of $5,000, so now you'd be getting $7,500 from the state and $7,500 from the feds. Oregon is one of a growing number of U.S. states that offer such EV incentives and rebates. In addition, you may find tax breaks for installing solar panels, discounts on residential battery energy storage systems, credits and rebates for home charging stations, and more. While some programs are state-sponsored, many come locally, from utilities and related companies. In Oregon, a variety of local incentives are available, 
with amounts ranging from $100 to $1,500. Sometimes you can even stack a few of these local rebates. If you do your homework, you may find that your state offers tax breaks or incentives for EV buyers, in addition to various programs from utilities and the like. Source Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside Eves. My take. All I can say is wow, that is really, really cheap. Tesla beefs up hardcore legal team with new general counsel hire. Tesla has beefed up its hardcore legal team with a new general counsel hire in Brandon Earhart, who spent over two decades with Dish Network. Earhart said on LinkedIn one week ago that he was assuming a new position as general counsel and a corporate secretary for Tesla at its headquarters in Austin, Texas. According to his page, he started the position in January. Bloomberg first reported the acquisition of Earhart. Excited to have Brandon Earhart join the Tesla team as our general counsel to have Dino Eskin continue in a leadership role in Tesla Legal, as we build a world-class team. Tesla Tesla, February 10, 2023. Prior to Tesla, Earhart worked a variety of roles at Dish Network, where he was employed for just over 20 years. When he left, he was the general counsel of Dish Wireless and also lists executive vice president and corporate secretary for the company under the roles that he assumed simultaneously. In May 2022, CEO Elon Musk announced that Tesla would be building out a hardcore litigation department that would initiate and execute lawsuits. Tesla's just under a relentless attack from so many, Musk said in an interview in June. So I think we just have to have like a strong litigation group that fights back essentially. A lot of really talented lawyers have sent in their resumes, and we're actually going through that. The team reports directly to Musk, and Tesla has spent the last nine months filling various positions within the team. In August, Tesla hired Adam Mays as an associate general counsel for the company. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. My take. Elon needs a pit bull type lawyer to keep all the jackals in line. Tesla Investor Day is key to further stock growth Morgan Stanley says. Tesla Investor Day on March 1 will be a key factor in furthering the company's stock growth, Morgan Stanley said in a new note to investors. While Tesla stock Nasdaq TSLA continues to rebound after a sluggish 2022, Morgan Stanley is undoubtedly impressed with the automaker's recovery in 2023. However, the firm, led by analyst Adam Jonas, said the window of opportunity has closed in terms of valuation, and Tesla will need to present something relatively substantial at its Investor Day event in March. While we reiterate the overweight rating on Tesla shares, we believe the window of opportunity on valuation has closed. Further upside from here will require a more substantial narrative change following the March 1st. Investor Day Tesla has utilized its leverage in high margins to adjust prices accordingly in 2023 which has undoubtedly surged the company's demand. Tesla has never had a demand problem, according to CEO Elon Musk, just a supply issue as the company has struggled to keep up with its ever-growing order log. Despite this, Tesla made moves with its pricing early in 2023, cutting Model Y marks by $13,000. Other cars had price cuts as well, and Tesla even adjusted its figures in other markets like China, which saw a 13.5% decrease after the new year. With the Model Y's entire lineup recently being included in the IRS's list of vehicles qualifying for federal tax incentives, it gives buyers even more reason to purchase the car. However, an increase in demand is not what Morgan Stanley is looking for. Invitations for the March 1st Investor Day were sent out earlier this week, and the casting design featured on the invites triggered a variety of theories and guesses as to what the main sentiment of the event will be. However, whatever it is, Morgan Stanley and Jonas said in their note that potential catalysts stemming from the Master Plan Part 3 would have to give investors another layer of belief that substantial growth is possible moving forward. Even still, the note also entails that, while Tesla may need something relatively groundbreaking moving forward to justify another spike in valuation, the company still maintains a healthy lead over its competitors. Jonas notes that Tesla shares are up 68% this year, while Lucid and Rivian are up 51 and 5%, respectively. Tesla will, short term, invest their margin into price lower while, 
Longer term, we expect Tesla will invest their innovation into margin. Additionally, Jonas stated that Tesla has specific leverage over competitors. At the same time, we remain concerned about the ability of EV competitors, startups and legacy players to withstand the cost and scale advantages Tesla enjoys as it continues to drive prices lower and share higher in a potential shakeout for the EV industry. Companies like Ford, Lucid, and others have also adjusted prices to keep up with Tesla, while companies like Volvo, Volkswagen, and General Motors have denied that price cuts are the answer to compete with the EV leader. Regardless of the pricing strategies the companies employ, Tesla is likely still the most suitable options in terms of charging infrastructure, as well as EV software and tech. Morgan Stanley reiterated its overweight rating with a $220 price target. A source reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. My take. I think Elon is going to be dropping some huge news come March 1st.